We'll examine the body, have a hunt round, see if there's anything. We'll close the door so people can't see what's going off, you know? Yeah, this is pretty bad. This is pretty bad. Lord above, they did a hell of a job on him. Must have been agony. How come no one heard anything? Yeah, unless it was done somewhere else and he was brought here, but there's a hell of a lot, hell of a lot of blood. But if he was brought here, let's take a look at his head. What's this? Looks like someone's hit him very hard on the head. Could they have bludgeoned him to death and then gutted him? That would explain why he didn't scream. Yeah, that could that could be it. That could be it. And what's this above? Reed. Oh, that, now that could also come in handy. Judas. Hmm. Looks like this is meant to be a warning. But for who? And why? Maybe the gang had a falling out. But a bandit who knows how to write isn't something you see every day. No, educated bandit. All right. Is there anything else in here? Uh, bye. Because we should really have a look around, see if there's any clues or anything about inspect. A bed. We're not asleep there, I don't think. A bed. All right, just a bed. All right. What we got here? Food. <laughs> What else? It's just that. All right, that's fine. But we might as well. He doesn't need it anymore, does he? What about in this one? All right, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm bad. I am really bad. Uh. Thank you. Not much. Got some hides. So we'll take that lot. We are overburdened again. Surprise, surprise. Okay. Let's take a look in here. Anything? No. We could eat. We really need a sleep. There doesn't seem to be anything else that we can... Hmm. That's not exactly going to be the most comfortable places to sleep, is it? We're going to have to find somewhere to sleep, though. I think. Let's see if there's anything else to be able to say. That a knight such as you takes an interest in me. All right, tell me more about Lubosh. Another thing about Lubosh. Oh, no, okay. Nothing else for us. So we could do with finding an inn or something. Let's take a look at the map. Grocer, trader... So if we head across the way here, we may find an inn or something. Uh, I'm not sure which way that is. I think I'm heading... The... Let's just check, because I'm useless when it comes to directions. Oh. They're miles up there. I wonder in if we head here, that might be something. But we definitely need some sleep. We definitely need to get some energy back. This is a nice spot. What do we have here? Hmm. 
I was hoping we could find somewhere to have a sleep, but it doesn't look like that's going to be possible. Uh. Hmm. What's this guy? Butcher. All right. Let's just... Not that one, Andrew. That one. Let's transfer these hides across to the horse, shall we? Still overburdened somehow. We could eat some food. Is there anything we can just transfer across that's gonna... Uh, See, <clears throat> excuse me. There's nothing really apart from what we're actually wearing. Which is a shame. Uh, really need that mule too. Oh, we've got this bludgeon. And that's done something, but not too much. Let's eat this bread. Oh, that really jumps our nourishment up. Which is good. And if we eat this beet. There we go. Need. Right, where's his horse? All right, Pebs. We need to head over to the other side of town, I think. Without knocking anybody over, that would be good. Maybe we can find somewhere to stay over this side. And then we're also pretty close to the priest as well, which will help for later. Yes, good point. Uh, need the torch. Done it again. Uh, there we go. Sorry, pal. Is that better for you? Here we go. Maybe we can find somewhere to sleep here. This would be good. Lodgings. Talk to the friendly innkeeper. All right. Uh, definitely. Oh, let's have. Is there anything suspicious going on in these parts? Nothing out of the ordinary. Praise God. All right. I could do with a place to sleep. Have you got a bed for the night? Aye. There's room here. For how long? Uh, just for the night, I think. Just the one night. For now. No problem. I can always come but back to you. You pay in advance. Ah, not a problem. Two. I'm not even gonna haggle over that. Are. You all like it here, like sleeping on a cloud. It is. Lovely. That's what I like to hear. Where's my bed? Where do I go to sleep? You'll have no trouble finding it. Right inside the door to the building, there's a ladder up to the loft. Your bed's ready there, and a trunk for your belongings. Nice. So there's a ladder up. Uh, where? Oh, 
Oh, here. All right. Oh, just in here. And here's our chunk. So these are those uh, books which we found. I don't weigh much. We'll pick up... What's this one? Treatise of Master Yan Hussan Papal Simony. The Groom and the Apprentice. We'll take that and we'll have a read. Possibly. I bet we can't read here. Let's have a look, see if there is something we can read. Oh, we can. It's a good reading spot. Uh, let's have a look, see how this works. Uh, the Groom to the Scholar. Scholar, you wretched fellow, how can you so... Right, so there's loads. This just looks like a... A book. <laughs> yeah. So how do we learn anything from that? Or is it just the... Mm. All right. Let's go to sleep. Let's go while nine o'clock. It gives us a bit of uh, oh, our energy, our energy. So that's fine. That gives us full energy again there. Yeah. Yeah, so full energy. We just need something little to nibble. We don't have to wear, go and stuff ourselves stupid. We have a save as well, so that's all good. Wrong one. Oh no, not sleep, idiot. <laughs> Back. I want to get up. Okay, so add our sleep. Is there anything that we can put in here? Hmm. That we don't really want to be carrying around. I don't think there's all that much, actually. Could put the rings in, but that's not going to do much. Uh, let's get the beer in there. And that gets us down to normal. Uh, well, in our way, just. Let's see if there's anything health. Oh, that's the decoction. Uh, we could have a bit of dried fruit, uh, dried mushrooms, I think I'm going to, oh that's just moving them, no, alright, let's head down, oh there's a chest here, that is so tempting, Sod it, here we go. <laughs> nice. Mm. All right. Uh, what am I doing? 
yeah, let's uh, go in here. We need to put some stuff on the horse, don't we? So, uh, let's close this. Oh, hang on. That way, I'm sorry, I've just completely lost my bearings. Uh, let's move these bandages, this bludgeon, the boar hide, the brown holes, these cobwebs, the dog skin. Anything else? Yes, just linen shirt. sheepskin and I think that's us I think that's as safe if we are stopped yeah okay that's fine we don't need our oh put it away thank you and put away our torch there we go that's what I'm trying to do All right, so we need to find the priest, wherever he may be. There's something says he will be over this way, somewhere. Ooh, is that the baker's? So we found the church, lovely. Alright, uh, don't seem to be anybody around here, so let's, I'm sure you were just sat there. Hello there, Father Godwin, hey, can I talk to you? Mr. Godwin, if you don't mind. No. Why can I not talk to him? Uh. Alright. I can't talk to him. For some reason, I cannot talk to him. Why would that be? Talk to the priest. Find out more about Limpy... So we still need to find out more about Limpy Lubosh. Hmm. That is uh, a little bit annoying. Is it just that it's too early to talk to him again? All right, let's leave him to it. Let's go and ask some people about Limpy then. Oh, hello. They've got them on the north side, and on the south, the beetles have riddled them with owls. Damnation, that's a nuisance. It all have to be replaced. Let's have a chat with these villagers here. I'm honoured that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. Oh, I'm looking for the local groom. Oh, I think that's... I'm looking for the local groom. Where can I find him? Has something hit you on the head, boy? Where do you think you'll find a groom? Oh, don't Price be cheeky. Six. Ask at the stables. Less of your cheek. Not finished with you yet. I've come in the name of Sir Hanush of Lyper. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? Sir Hanush gives a job like that to a young fellow like you? Well, what do I care? Ask. Well, you're not exactly old, are you? So who is Lubosh? That Tell me about Lubosh him. who was murdered, what was he like? He was a strange one. Always drinking, bad-tempered. Lord knows how he made a living. Well... Maybe now I've got an idea or two. 
And did you notice any sus anything suspicious about him? Have you noticed anything recently? suspicious recently? I didn't see much of him lately. Not even in the tavern. Not until yesterday in church, as it happens. All right. And do you know what he was doing on the day of the raid? Do you know what Lubosch was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? I don't think he was home at all. Wait, are you saying he... Jesus. And do you know any of his friends or family? Do you know anyone Lubosch used to spend time with? Relatives or friends? I really don't know. As far as I know, he had no kin. I never saw him with anyone. All right, so that was useful. That's not. Thank you. All right. Let's see if we can go and talk to him now. Come on. Now the Godwin. No, come on. Talk to me. There we go. All right, can I ask you a few questions about Lubosch? Blessings of our good Lord be with you, Father. I'm here in the name of Sir Hanish of Lyper, investigating the massacre at Neuhof, which seems to be connected to a murder here. Can I ask you a few questions? It seems Sir Hanish is employing children as investigators. But ask as you wish, boy. I hope this nasty business will be cleared up quickly. Well, we shall see. Bush? What was he like? A bit of a lost soul. Simple, rough fellow, but at heart I don't think he was such a bad person. All right, did you notice anything suspicious about him? Did you notice anything suspicious recently? My child, all sorts of suspicious things have been going on recently. People like Lubos don't know what to do about it, and sometimes they do stupid things. Yeah, like That's get involved. That's really not a lot of help to me, Father. I'm sorry to hear that. All right, any idea what he was doing on the day of the raid? Do you know what Lubos was doing on the day Neuhoff was raided? Unfortunately, I do know. And I'd like to help you with your investigation, but I can't. What? Uh, I'm bound by certain vows that yeah. forbid me to tell you. Vows more important than catching dangerous murderers? There are laws of God above the laws of man, son. And one of those is the sanctity of the confessional. Mm-hmm. Yep. There, there has to be some way. Father, surely you can't be serious. There must be situations in which you can make an exception. There are things that apply always, no matter what the circumstances. And this is one of them. All right. I'll get that confession out with you by force. No. Look, you can't hurt him now. But Lubosch is dead. You can't hurt him. But if you don't tell me, more innocent people may die. If I told uh, you, what? I would be betraying a vow that's a cornerstone of the Holy Church. If people believed the sanctity of the confessional couldn't be trusted, the consequences would be even worse than that. Worse than the death of innocent Christians? Worse than the murderer escaping punishment? No one escapes punishment. Yeah, well, Lubos was my only lead. Father, Lubos was my only lead to the Neuhoff raiders. Only he could tell me who was responsible for that massacre. If I don't find out who it was, it will probably happen again. Surely you wouldn't want that. I wouldn't. But I can't betray the sanctity of the confessional. I'll tell you what. Give me some time and I'll try to think up some way of helping you. Suppose we talk it over in the evening. In the tavern. Over a cup of good wine. That sounds like Maybe an we'll idea. Maybe come up with something. All right. Thank you, Father. Yeah, that sounds good. You learned John Hoos. So we need to meet the parish priest in the tavern tonight. Okay. Let's see what else we can find out about him. Maybe there is more to Lou Bosch than we know already. Maybe we can have a chat with... She looks a bit like Lady Stephanie for a minute from the side anyway. Can you tell me? I think we've actually talked to her already. Let's talk to the alehouse maid. I've come in the name of Sir Hanish of Lyper. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? I don't know how I can help you, but ask if you must. Yeah, I think we've asked her. That's all. Thank you. There's got to be... 
I don't need anywhere to sleep at the moment. Uh... Cabbage, lovely, oh, marvellous cabbage. Have we talked to this guy? Good day to you. What do you need? I don't think we have. Well, it looks like we may have done. I come in the name of Sir Hanush of Lyper. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? I don't know nothing about it, but ask all you want. Yeah, I'm sure we've asked him. That's all. Thank you. Hmm. Be a bit more careful. I don't want to be. I'm trying to find a murderer and nobody is helping me. It's just not on. So now I'm just going to go wandering around and see what happens. Oh, we let's have a chat over here. Maybe. Oh, somebody we've not talked to. I've come in the name of Sir Hanish of Lyper. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? Ask away. Well, it looks like we may have, because it's only... Do you know what Lubosch was doing the day Neuhof was raided? What do I care about that scoundrel? I was glad he stayed out of my way. Uh, let's just check. Have you noticed I'm sure. anything suspicious recently? The only thing seemed suspicious was how a rogue like him suddenly started going yeah, to church. Yeah, yeah, okay. Now I see why, of course. That's all. Thank you. God bless. Oh, and now he's gone. Let's talk to this one. I've come in the name of Sir Hanish of Lyper. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? I don't know how I can help you, but ask if you must. Yeah, we talked to her. That's all. Thank you. And I'm getting shouted at by someone. Him. Hi. You. What do you know? Jesus Christ be praised. I've come in the name of Sir Hanush of Lyper. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? Of course. Ask away. Uh, nothing That's new. All. Thank you. Maybe we go and look for the groom. I'm looking for the local groom. Where can I find him? If he isn't in the stables, then I've no idea where he's got to. All right, let's go to the stables, I think. What? What in the... I'm running. Yeah, let's go to the stables and see if we can find this groom. <whistles> Maybe he's gone missing, because he was mentioned by the innkeeper, I think, when we were interviewing him outside Limpy's house, Lubosch's place. So, uh, just finding the stables. I'm taking it through over in this direction. I've not seen any the other way. All right. Hopefully. Gonna be up this way somewhere. New point in the horsemanship. Where the hell are the stables? Is this them here on the left? You know. Maybe it is. This is gonna hurt. No. This could be the stables, I suppose. Damn dogs. Uh, 
Hello. I've come in the name of Sir Hanish of Lipa. I'm uh, investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? I don't know how I can help you, but ask if you must. Who was this Lubosh who was murdered? You could see at first glance he was no good. I kept well out of his way. All right, so... That's all. I don't Thank think you. there's anything else we can actually find out. Uh, I want to find this stable hand. Oh, stables are right down here. I'm in the wrong spot altogether, I think. Let's go this way. probably less complicated than going by pebbles ah this looks promising horse trader Check. Stable head gro head groom. Is that who we're looking for? Good day to you. What do you need? Oh, I'm looking for the local groom. I'm looking for the local groom. Well, you find him. What can I do for you? The lady Stephanie of Talmberg sent me. Oh. She said you have a roan ready for her. Well, well. Chamberlain Dietrich said someone would come. We have him here, but if he's ready, I can't say. Why, what's that the problem? That miserable horse will let you saddle him and walk him around the courtyard, but as soon as someone sits on him, he goes completely wild. All right. What do I do? That horse is supposed to be presented at a noble woman's wedding. It probably won't be appropriate if he makes a spectacle of his rider. Is there anything I can do? Try asking Vasha. For some reason, that devil horse listens to him. Then take the horse with you. Dietrich's arranged everything. Okay. Is there any work available around any here? Any work around here? Enough for a dozen men. You could take the place of that useless stable hand Vashek for a start. What happened? Did he do something wrong? Just found out that he lost our pie. Lost it where? In his stomach? No, no. Pie was our fastest stallion. A lovely dappled one. Oh. Well, that's bad news. How did Vashek manage to lose him? He fell, banged his head, and the horse bolted. Can you fathom it? A stable hand falling off a horse. And then Pi took off at a gallop. All right, I'll try to find Pi. Well, I can't take Vashek's job, but I can try to find your Pi. That would be nice of you. If there's anything you need to know, ask that fool. I was too livid to even speak to him. Right. Okay. The horse that bolted. Oh, we got a save out of that. Nice. So let's try and find him. Where's Vashek gone? I know he was this way somewhere. Here we go. I'm honoured that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. All right. Let's talk about pie. How's I the think. head? So even strangers know my shame. Come on, then. Come and take a closer look at Vashek the Blockhead. Oh. I'm not here to mock at I'm all. not here to mock. So what is it you want? I promised the head groom that I'd look for a pie. Well, good luck with that. I've been searching half the day. Although I have been seeing double ever since that bang on the head. So it's possible I missed something. Oh, sorry, twice. All right, describe pie to Can me. Can you describe pie for me? Um... Long face, four legs. Oh, that's helpful. Can you be a little bit more precise, if you don't mind? Uh, well, that should narrow it down. <laughs> Does he have any distinguishing features? Like your colour, for instance? Sorry, he's a dappled grey, a stallion, and he's really fast. Though that won't help you much. Quite the opposite. All right, where did you lose him? Where did you fall off, Pi? 
Just south of here, between the fields and the woods, there's a crossroads where four paths meet. It was around there. Four paths. So we could have gone anywhere. Oh, now wow. Now you see my problem. Yeah, I do. Okay, when did this when happen? Was In the morning. Then I staggered about for a while, feeling as rough as a boar's ass. I was glad to stagger back here in the end. Okay. Say no Fine. more. I'll go and look for him. Thanks. It's in my if try. Him, the groom might go easier on me. Oh, and one more thing. What about what? it? What? Pies used to take in the bridal way, so I'd keep to those. That's useful. Thanks. Okay. We'll talk to him later about Lady Stephanie's horse. Training. Now, horse riding. I'd like you to show me how to ride a horse better. Certainly. I take it I'm still on beginner's level here, I'd so like to we'll take the it. Alright, but it'll cost you. How much? 60 groschen? Yeah. I'm, I'm starting to Isn't feel a bit tight a now. Let's go 53. Agree? A little Come bit more? Now. Just a little more and we have a deal. All right, 55. Agree. That's a little, now little more. Up. So we've improved horsemanship. I think we've actually got a perk to spend in there as well. Horsemanship, yeah. Heavy duty pony. Please say that means he can carry more. Your horse can carry more, but he's slower. Can't be combined with the racehorse perk. Your horse is faster, but carries less weight. Can't be... Okay, I think we take heavy duty pony. I'm not bothered about speed. All right, that's fine. So we need to try and find where Pi is. So let's do that. No, I don't want that at all. Is this it? Talk to Vashek. Mount Malone. Is this it? Go to the crossroads. So it's quite a ways, actually. Hmm. It may be worth doing it, though, and getting it done. Uh, lots of time. Oh, it's still early, so we may be able to get this done. Yeah, let's go. Let's head off. And see if we can find Pi. I'm just going straight across country and I'm running. I ain't going. Oh, I don't know. Pebbles, come on. Come on, let's go. Oh, all right. There we go, that's better. Yeah. All right, stuck in a bush. Well, that's one way of getting through them. <laughs> yeah. Just door, ooh. Yeah, just... Don't go throwing a shoe or something in there. Oh, heck. Don't know how many to get through there. Oh, what's this? All right, so we, we can actually take a look at crosses and things, can't we? I think. Or can we? No. Not that one, anyway. This will be the crossroads. Okay. So where did Pi go? Okie doke. So, let's take a look, shall we, and see what it says. The horse that bolted, find Pi. 
<laughs> yeah, okay. There is absolutely nothing at all to help me. Stick to the bridle ways. Now, the other thing, Codex. Uh, animal husbandry, will it be in here? Oh, heck, this is quite wrong. I'm just wondering if there's anything about the bridal ways or anything. Uh, I'm not sure where to even look, to be honest. <laughs> 